All roads in South Korea's capital city, Seoul, seem to lead to the Olympic Stadium, the venue for the official opening ceremony of the World Alliance of Religions Peace Summit. The delegates comprising youth groups, women leaders, former and current political leaders, and other dignitaries made a grand entry to the stadium through the Gate of Peace. The 100,000 capacity stadium was packed to the brim with delegates from across the world attending the summit who were treated to an electrifying display of peace messages blended with an array of fireworks. Speeches exhorted humanity to realize that war was to no avail, hence the need for everyone to play a role in sustaining peace. So we must give everything back for the work of peace. And we must make this religious, also, this religious role have to stop their conflicts. Almighty Allah, our Lord, our God, revealed in his book, the Quran, many conversations and dialogue between his messengers with their people, believers and non-believers. As humanity ascends the ladder of both material and intellectual progress, it has equally degenerated into worse cycles of war that defy the philosophical elevation. To make peace is easy said difficult to do. It requires determination every day. It requires people to put in effort. It shows that you must walk across the line and show friendship. The ceremony climaxed with a breathtaking choreography of a Korean traditional song called Arirang, to which the delegates also sang and danced. After that spectacular display at the opening ceremony, Participants at the World Alliance of Religions Peace Summit now get down to the crux of the matter, endeavoring to answer questions such as, for whom and for what is war? But more importantly, what can be done to achieve sustainable peace in the world today, even as they seek to restore religion to its original purpose in the society? From the Olympic Stadium in Seoul, South Korea, I'm Kennedy Osir, reporting for Channel One News.